Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is uh, this is two posts, so they may be a little disjointed, but bear with me. I, I'll try to stumble through them. Uh, the state mandates that a taxing authority, such as the Clark County School District, is going to, if they're going to increase taxes, they must have three advertised meetings so the taxpayers' wishes can be heard. So far, I've been to two of those meetings to ask the school board to roll back our uh, millage rate to accommodate for the increased growth in the tax digest. At the first meeting, there were four board members there. There are nine members on the, on the school board. Four showed up. They're the ones that bothered to attend the hearing. That's not even a quarrel. Those attending the first meeting were Lakeisha Grant, Claudia Butts, Linda Davis, and Tim Denson. The second state mandated meeting was attended by only three uh, board members. And that was, again, Lakeisha Gant, Grant, Gant, excuse me, and Linda Davis and Mark Evans. Tim Davis showed up as, as we were walking out of the hearing. It was over, he showed up. Uh, so far, only Lakeisha Gant and Linda Davis seem to have understood uh, that these hearings are part of their responsibility to the people that elected them. These hearings are important to the taxpayers and are their last opportunity to be heard on the budget matter before it's finalized. Now would seem to be a proper time for the board members that haven't attended all of the public hearings to answer a few questions like, what do you think you were elected for? <laughs> yeah. Are you a representative of the taxpaying citizens of Clark County or the taxing authority? Seems like uh, maybe the taxing authority. Uh, is this why our school district's accreditation has been under review for about three years? Still no uh, end in sight of the review. Is this why the recent enrollment is down over a thousand students? And they still want more money. I urge all taxpaying citizens to attend all remaining tax hearings and make your wishes known to your elected representative if they bother to show up. <laughs> All right, that was the first email I posted. The second one is, goes such as this. The Clark County School Board has nearly $52 million in unallocated funds. That's $52 million not used to operate the schools, a so-called rainy day fund. According to state law, this is $21 million more than they're authorized to retain in an unauthorized, I mean, unallocated account. They're trying, and on top of that, they're trying to increase the budget an additional $6 million. I mean, you gotta ask why. They are not authorized to tax us for more than they need to operate the schools yearly. This is what the state law says they can do about it. And I'm gonna paraphrase some of this so you get the drift of it. Just of it. The budget of each local school system shall reflect all anticipated revenues from each source. The budget of each local school system shall designate all of such anticipated revenues among the several funds of the system and shall not leave any unanticipated, I mean, any anticipated revenues undesignated, except as otherwise provided in this paragraph. Any existing balance in each fund shall be intended for expenditure within the budget year for the purposes of that fund or account. There shall be no fund or account in the nature of a surplus or unobligated surplus fund. Each local school system may establish a single reserve fund to cover unanticipated deficiencies in revenue, provided that the budget for any year shall not allocate to such, shall not allocate to such fund reserve any amounts which combined with the existing balance in such fund exceeds 15% of that year's total budget. The purpose of this paragraph is to prohibit local school systems from accumulating surplus funds through taxation without accounting to the taxpayers for such, oh, excuse me, to the taxpayers for how such funds will be expended. So I'm asking you, come to our school board meeting and ask them why do you need the additional taxes? They need to roll back the millage rate to accommodate the total increase in the tax budget 
and the excess $21 million that they're holding illegally in a rainy day fund. That's over $27 million, a huge chunk of your money. Come on down to the school board. It's at the old Prince Avenue uh, Church, 595 Prince Avenue. The meetings are on, let's see here, June the 28th at 6 p.m. There's plenty of room, nice cool room, very <laughs> comfortable. And uh, June the 29th at 6 p.m. Look to see you down there.